So guys, I've made it to my second home. Now I know what you're thinking. Wasn't she just there two weeks ago? Yes, guys, yes. I literally was at the bookstore two weeks ago, bought a ton of books. I even made a vlog about it. Out of all those books I bought, I literally only have, like, one left to read. It's time for me to, like, get more books, guys. I have a problem, but I feel like this is not a bad problem because at least it's, like, books, you know? It's not, like... Yeah, there are so many books coming out right now. It's giving fall and I am in the fall mindset. I'm definitely in the fall mood. So come with me or not. It's your choice. It's your choice. I'm so exhausted. I mean, I was exhausted before I came here, but like now I'm even more exhausted. I have a basket full of books and I'm like, should I get all of them? I don't know, I don't know. I think I'm going to though. I cannot even pick, to be honest, so. I got some good books. I cannot wait to show you all the books that I got. It's just almost like, it's crazy. Fall season is lit, it's up. It's up from here, it is up. And guys, I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I'm ever gonna go to Barnes & Noble at this time again. I think I got there around like 2.30ish. It's the most packed I've ever experienced at Barnes & Noble. Every corner, every, everywhere, everywhere, people, we're literally everywhere. It was so packed. People are constantly still going in, even right now. Guys, you are not ready for this book haul. You're not ready. You are not ready. I don't even think I'm ready. I know I literally was just there. I know, okay? We know. But when I show you these books that I got, you're gonna be like, okay, I understand. Let me show you. The first book I'm probably definitely going to read is called you again this is a new novel by kate goldbeck i've never read any books from her but look at this cover doesn't it just scream fall like literally it's a cover full of like leaves and different colors like and she's wearing like a plaid like whatever this is called and like the colors it is just it is giving fall it is the, the ultimate fall book this book just came out like this month i believe so it's definitely a new read a new novel it's like enemies to friends to lovers type of situation can they stop hitting each other long enough to fall in love? <laughs> the main characters are Ari and Josh. And it says when Ari and Josh first met, the wrong kind of sparks fly. <laughs> they hate each other instantly, which is so crazy. I kind of love that. A free-spirited, struggling comedian, Ari. Ari likes to keep things casual and never sleeps over after hooking up. But Josh is a born bred New Yorker. He has ambitious plans to take the culinary world by storm and find the one, you know? <laughs> they have absolutely nothing in common naturally except that they happen to be sleeping with the same woman what do you mean like what does that mean so Ari and Josh never expect their past to cross again but years later a chance encounter leads to a surprising connection friendship right so enemies to friends turns out spending time with your former nemesis is fun when you're too sad to hate each other and too sad for hate sex <laughs> what as friends without benefits they find comfort in late night Netflix binges, swiping through each other's online dating profiles, and bickering across boroughs until one night, all it takes is one night, right? The unspoken boundaries of their platonic relationship begins to blur. With sharp observations and sizzling chemistry, you again explores the dynamics of co-ed friendship in this irresistible romantic comedy of modern love. But I was just like flipping 
through the book and then I landed on a page and it was just speaking like modern day, like how we talk. It was giving like, it could be either one of us having these conversations. I love that it's modern. First of all, the cover is just, it's giving fall. And second of all, like I just needed a romance because after I go through all these other books that I have, you're gonna be like, good thing you have like a palette cleanser. And I cannot wait to read. I think I'm about to read this like right after this video. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. But it's, it's giving, isn't it? It's giving, I know, I know, I know. Guys, this book is currently trending on Goodreads right now. It's a new book by our favorite author. This book is called The Coworker by Frida McFadden. Now, she is super popular. Like for this book, it says it right here, The Housemaid. That got her on the map, okay? And this book, I, oh my God, I'm just so excited to read it. It's basically about two women. So there's this girl named Dawn Schiff, who's strange. She goes to work at 845 precisely every single day and she's always there at the same time. She has no friends, which is so sad. And she is just always at her desk working. One day, Dawn didn't show up to work. Girl, wait, what? One day, Dawn doesn't show up to the office one morning. Her coworker, Natalie, beautiful, popular, top sales rep for five years running. So completely the opposite of Dawn, right? Natalie shows up and she's surprised that Dawn isn't there, right? Like, where is, where is, where is she? So when Dawn doesn't show up, it turns out Dawn wasn't just an awkward outsider, okay? She was being targeted by someone. <laughs> Who? And now Natalie is irrevocably tied to Dawn as she finds herself caught in a twisted game of cat and mouse that leaves her wondering who is the real victim. Wait, what? But one thing is incredibly clear. Somebody hated Dawn enough to kill. Somebody died. <laughs> it explores the dark ways that the past can echo through the present with deadly consequences this just seems like the perfect the perfect fall but mostly halloween spooky type of book and i am here for that i am definitely here for it so i'm excited to read this the other book once upon a broken heart we all know this book you know it don't you you've heard of it at least like right and if you haven't let me put you on i just finished reading the first book of a trilogy called carnival guys you should check that one out but i'm gonna talk about that later so anyway it's by the same author of that book stephanie garber dude i have been hearing nothing but good things about this book in particular this book is also a trilogy and i don't know why i don't know why i'm like about to start a new series when I haven't finished that one. See, I never really do this. I never go from like a book of a series to like another series. I just tend to finish the whole series. That's my vibe. So this is the first time I'm going outside of the box and being unorthodox Jerry Lynn. And I am just getting more books. Like, I don't know what it is. I just love it. I love the cover. It's just so magical, right? So basically, this book is about this girl named Evangeline Fox. She is the believer of true love and happy endings, right? She finds out that the love of her life is about to marry somebody else girl that is crazy she's desperate to stop this wedding evangeline strikes a deal with the charismatic immortal prince of hearts who okay but she soon discovers that bargaining with the prince of hearts is a dangerous game he has plans for evangeline what kind of plans oh plans that would either end in the greatest happily ever after or the most exquisite tragedy. Apparently this is like an explosive fairy tale that takes place inside an intricate world that's weaved and fast paced and plot intriguing and has a lot of plot twists apparently oh my god i love a good book with a map like i love i love when fantasy books gives us a map you know i'm gonna look at that you know i'm gonna read it come on i love her already i cannot wait to see the fairy tale vibes that come that take place like i just want to see what happens the love of your life is about to marry somebody else you go to this person try to stop the wedding what happens then what then what we have some good reads am i right am i right let's keep going another book that i have heard nothing but raving things about it's called the Naturals. <laughs> The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Basically, it's about the 17-year-old girl named Ka Casey. Cassie. She is naturally good at reading people, right? She's good at piercing together tiny details. She can tell you who you are and what you want, okay? Okay. But it's not a skill that she's ever taken seriously. Until one day, the FBI comes knocking at her door. They've begun a classified program that uses exceptional teenagers to crack infamous cold cases. And they need Casey. Cassie. They need Casey. I'm gonna call her Casey. What Cassie doesn't 
Casey. What Casey doesn't realize is that there's more at risk than a few unsolved homicides, especially when she's sent to live with a group of teens whose gifts are as unusual as her own. Soon it becomes clear that no one in the Naturals program is what they seem. And when a new killer strikes, danger looms close. Caught in a lethal game of cat and mouse with the killer, the Naturals are going to have to use all of their gifts just to survive. I just feel so happy just reading that. Dude, I also love the cover. Like, this is pretty creative. Like, I just, I love, I love, I love. From the same author, I hadn't even heard about this book until today. From Jennifer Barnes, again, it's called The Inheritance Games. So it says, she came from nothing. They have everything. Let the games begin. This author seems like she's really good at doing mysterious games. So I'm like, okay, I love that. So it says, Avery Grams has plans for a better future. She wants to survive high school, win a scholarship, and just get out. That sounds like me. But her luck changes in an instant when billionaire Tobias Harthorn dies and leaves her virtual his entire fortune. What? The only catch? Avery must move into his sprawly mansion full of secret passages, riddles, and codes. Have y'all ever seen that show on, on Netflix? It's called like The Lock House or like Lock and Key. Something about the lock and like it was basically like they moved into this old house that belonged to the family. They go down this whole like I can't explain it, but like they go to this house and the house has a bunch of keys that unlock different doors into different magical lands. And if you know what I'm talking about, leave a comment below. Like it's on Netflix. Like that show is giving that. It makes me feel like this is that. Anyway, unfortunately for Avery, Hawthorne House is also occupied by the family that was just disinherited, which is kind of, that's tea. This includes the four Hawthorne grandsons, dangerous magnetic boys who grew up with every expectation that one day they would inherit the billions. But but Avery has it? That is some tea. Honestly, like, what is up, Grandpa? One of the sons is convinced that Avery is a con woman and he's determined to take her down. <laughs> but his brother Jameson views her as their grandfather's last hoorah, like a twisted riddle, a puzzle to be solved. So caught in a world of wealth and privilege with danger around every turn, Avery will have to play the game herself just to survive. And I'm like, <gasps> it just seems like it's such a good read. Like, she inherited all this money like billions she inherits everything and these brothers are like no wait she is the con woman and then another brother's like no maybe she's part of the game like maybe this is like you know grandpa being grandpa he's trying to like you know do something here it just screams fall read the lights are dark i have candles lit and i have my cozy blanket and i'm reading about this like right and i'm so curious as to what's gonna happen like why would he randomly give all of his everything he owns to avery is she tied to them is that part of the mystery i don't know like we have to read and find out so that's from the same author as a natural by the way this is a series this is a trilogy and this is also a trilogy so now i have two trilogies oh just kidding i have three trilogies because this is also part of a trilogy so like what was i thinking right so now does it make sense why i got this book <laughs> okay now this book written by the same author called once upon a broken heart legendary so this is the second book of a trilogy written by stephanie Garber. The first book is called The Carnival. I literally just finished reading Carnival this morning. That's why I went to the bookstore today because I, I finished that book and I was like now what? I want to read part two. But then I was like but also I want to read so many other books which is the problem. Like my number one goal was to get this book today. Legendary. The way the first book ended had me like I need to go to the store. Like literally I got dressed immediately and I went. I am not kidding. Like I literally finished reading it and I was like okay let's go to Barnes and Nobles. Like let's go to Barnes right now. Oh my god. I don't know if I can really talk about like what the synopsis says because it's kind of going to give away some stuff in the first novel but if you haven't read the first novel of the trilogy basically it's about these two sisters and this like magic game basically one girl and her name is scarlet the other girl's name is tella scarlet has this dream of going to carnival which is like this big magical game that takes place every year and it's always in different locations and she constantly wanted it to be in her location so she can go they have this really strict father and they're basically like locked into this island their father is like the governor of this island and so they're basically never gonna leave suddenly the father arranges a marriage for scarlet and so scarlet's like man my life is basically over 
I want to be able to experience carnival before I get married and have a whole different life. So, you know, some kind of way, you gotta read the book, somehow she finally gets invited to go to carnival and experience all the magical games and blah, 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 blah. Her sister is part of the game. So like her sister gets kidnapped and taken the moment they arrive at carnival. And so now the whole game is about finding Tella and it involves all of the players who got invited, right? And so basically the first person to find Tella wins the game and gets a one free wish from Legend, which is the guy who basically runs the carnival game. So this is crazy because now Scarlet, not only does Scarlet have this huge wish of like going to carnival, she goes to carnival, her sister gets kidnapped and now her whole mission, the whole game, but everybody is to find the sister. And it is so good the way that like everybody is trying to find the sister and like they're looking for clues and like it's like mysterious but it's also like whimsical and dreamlike because literally magic is happening and the other thing is they only have five nights of the game they only have five nights there are rules around the game that is involved and it would after the five nights are over are they gonna find the sister are they gonna get the free wish like what is gonna happen what happens if they don't find Tella you know what I'm saying and so like oh my god I was reading that book it's literally right next to me because I literally like I said I just finished it and then I went to Barnes here's the book number two I'm so like I am so hyped for this book so the last book I got today I needed some contrast so I got the seven years slip by Ashley Poston 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 I've never read a book by this author either like most of these novels that I have today are from new authors except Stephanie Garber and Frida McFadden and that's it but anyway um this book is by a new author I heard some ravishing things about this book as well from other booktubers and other book content creator people and I've heard nothing but great things about this book first of all look at the cover look at the leaves isn't it it's giving fall right and i love that they're like just <sighs> it says sometimes the worst day of your life happens and you have to figure out how to live after it for clementine west that means burying her head in her work as a book publicist being practical and forgetting the silly things her beloved aunt anelia taught her like living wide and chasing the moon clementine would rather stay grounded and keep her heart safe for the last six months she's done just that but when she moves into her late aunt's apartment and finds a strange man standing in the kitchen, a man with kind eyes, a southern drawl, and a taste for lemon pies, her well-laid plans begin to fall apart. Wait, bef wait, wait, what is this man doing there though, like for real? Because he's the type of man who, before it all, she would have fallen head over heels for, and she still might, except he exists in the past. Wait, what? Seven years in the past to be exact and she quite literally lives seven years in his future <gasps> my heart is already broken her aunt always said the apartment was a pinch in time a place where moments blended like watercolors she also said that love is never a matter of time but a matter of timing that makes me so sad i don't even know why and clementine fears she may be seven years too late this sounds so heartbreaking wait i don't think i read it that deeply at barnes <laughs> also i am very curious about the story like what happened that completely wraps up all the books that I got from Barnes today. Oh my god, look at all these amazing books to add to my bookshelf. I feel so blessed that I get to add all of these amazing books to my bookshelf. Like, look at these books. Like, and first of all, this is not the end of this because I need to get the third book of this and the second book of this and the second. Like, I have so many, like, trilogies. I don't know what I was thinking, but if the first novel goes well, I'm going to get the second one. So that was my day today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have read any of these books, please leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts. But no spoilers, obviously. And if you have a favorite series that I haven't mentioned or that I haven't picked up, let me know what your favorite series are let me know what your favorite book recommendations are in the comments below because i love finding out new books bye